Hey, hello and welcome to part 128 of Let's Play Danganronpa. When we left off, Asahina kind of screamed a little bit and um, Kirige walked off and basically told Togami that he can go fuck himself, so let's see what happens. Ah, oh, this happens. A sight for his regular to us. What's up, dude? Why start screaming all of a sudden? Over there. Ah, oh, hello. Hello. You? How long have you been there? I'm unbelievably, unprecedentedly angry. At what? At the thief, sorry to say, but say it, but one of you is a thief. What? Who stole it? Who stole my treasure? Your treasure? Mr. Monokuma believed in you guys, and to have you guys betray that trust. These days with world teams of anxiety and anguish, I can understand why people flee from that, to that escapism. What do you mean, treasure? Shut up. I hope all you all get caught in a whirlpool of unemployment and debt. And off he goes. What is all that about, dude? Said someone stole his treasure. Does anyone have any ideas? It's probably Kirigiri's doing. What? Who other than her could do something like steal from Monokuma? Kirigiri stole something from Monokuma? If so, then what did you steal and why? If you tell me it's 10 o'clock, I'm gonna be pissed. <clears throat> May I have attention, please? But now, the time is now 10 p.m. My time is now in effect. Capture is now off limits and the door will be locked momentarily. Those of you who received homework from your further maths teacher, who seems to teach you way too much homework, you can do it at this point. I don't know, wait, that was me. Fucking maths teachers. <sighs> anyway. And with that, I wish you all a good night. Sweet dreams. Yeah, basically I get set way too much homework. Uh oh, we better get out of here. Let's have this conversation's on pause till tomorrow. Same with Kiri stuff too. Putting Monokuma and Kirigiri aside, something in the air feels somewhat agitated. I would be extra careful tonight if I were you, and avoid leaving your rooms until morning. That goes without saying. When you're dismissed, I'm going back to my room. And with that, everyone left the cafeteria and returned to their own rooms. Sounds about right. Oh yeah. I better put that knife I got from... from Fuqua. It should be safe in my desk drawer. Anyway, I wonder if Kirigiri is going to be alright. What's she going to do since she can't get into her own room? Is there anything I can do for her? Anything I can do? Wow, you fall asleep real easy, dude. Am I the only one that would have been like, you know what, I'm going to take the knife for protection, I'm going to go and try and find her and offer her a nice bed to sleep in. Or is that just me? Is that just me being generous? Ding dong. Hmm? I opened my eyes and re realized I'd fallen asleep at some point, but more importantly, someone rang the intercom? Oh, hello. Kirigiri? I'll be waiting in the dressing room. See you there. Hold on, Kirigiri? Kirigiri disappeared into the main hall, not paying my calls any mind. Um, we just talked about not leaving our rooms tonight, but I can't not go either. Oh great, so you make me. Hello. Hey, there aren't any cameras in here. Hmm, sorry for coming by so late. And worry about it, I've gotten used to it. I see. Let's get straight to the point. This is something you can't talk about whatever security cameras, isn't it? Could it perhaps have something to do with the thing you stole from Monokuma? 
Onikuma made a big fuss about it earlier. Something about treasure being stolen? That was you, wasn't it, Karagiri? Yes, it was me. I figured as much. So, what did you take? This. A key? But it obviously wasn't just any key. It had a Monokuma head on the end of it. I had never seen anything quite like it. Where do you get that? I took it from the headmaster's office. What? You snuck into the headmaster's office? But I thought the door was locked. The lock had been broken. What? Ugami, she did it for us. Ugami did? You remember in a suicide note where she said, even in death, retribution will be mine? You're saying Ugami broke down the door to the headmaster's office for our sake? No. Yes, so that we could uncover the secrets buried in that room. Ugami did that for us? She broke the school rules for us? She took one final strike of the academy after she'd sealed her fate? I realised the lock had been broken after yesterday's class trial was over, but I knew that if I went in then, Monokuma would find out right away, so... I used you as a decoy. So you're saying that last night, when you told me to go to the data processing room? Yes, so you would attract Monokuma's attention. I sunk into the headmaster's office using that opening, and the fruit of that endeavour is this key. So that's what this was about. Then, was that was what you told me last night also something you found there? Makuru Ikusaba, for the third and hopefully final time, the 16th student hidden in this academy, the girl referred to as the super duper high school despair, but where of Makuru Ikusaba? Did you learn about this Makuru Ikusaba person in the headmaster's office too? Found a file about her there. I'm still not sure on the details. But Makuru Hikusaba is dangerous. How so? It's possible she could be the Cuppet Master. She could. I put an emphasis on could. I should have put an emphasis on she. The Puppet Master? Dol but didn't Rodrigo say there was a pretty high chance that the Headmaster was the Puppet Master? No, if the Headmaster is not the Puppet Master. Huh? There's no doubt in my mind, even if I don't have proof yet. He doesn't have any proof, but you can say it with certainty. That's unusual for Karagiri. I've been told by Kaspersky that I've got viruses, which I don't. But assuming the puppet master isn't the headmaster, that makes him or her Makuro Kusaba? Fuck off, Kaspersky! In any event, after all this time, we finally got our hands on something big. Can't let this opportunity slip away. What exactly does that key open, anyway? Still don't know that yet. That's why you're going to distract Monokuma while I go find out. You're planning to sneak on sneaking off somewhere else this time? That's way too risky. Besides, even if I distract Monokuma, there's no guarantee there's only one Puppet Master. But there are multiple Puppet Masters watching over us. I didn't get caught last night, did I? That could have just been a coincidence. It's a possibility that the Puppet Master can't absor observe us and control Mother Kuma at the same time. What? And that's why it worked last night. I'm not saying you're wrong, though. It is possible that it was just a coincidence. That's exactly why there's merit in trying the same thing one more time. If it works a second time, then the deduction will be all but proven. I sat in silence and listened as Kogu continued, speaking in a calm, clear tone. If the Puppet Master truly cannot control Mother Kuma and observe us at the same time, and that gives us an opening. The experiment also serves to make certain of that, but still, no matter how you put it, it's too dangerous. Think about what will happen if it doesn't work. That shouldn't be an issue, remember. You may investigate Kibugami Academy freely. No limitations have been placed on your actions. There are no limitations on what we're allowed to do. Even stealing the key, it's not like I'm breaking any rules. Do the rules really matter if you piss off the Puppet Master? You'd kill every one of us, no questions asked. Great, we got a point. If the plan fails, we'll all be able to we'll be able to figure that out too. Huh? If something goes sour. Will the Puppet Master break his own rules, or will he uphold them to the better end? If we gain something of value, whether the plan fails or succeeds, there's no reason not to go through with it. But if we want to accomplish anything, risk is unavoidable. I'm well aware of the danger, but if we want answers, we must push forward. Am I wrong? 
that moment I finally noticed there wasn't a trace of sorrow or fear in her eyes. Rather, her eyes were locked on an enemy, a mystery, but needed to be taken down. She was smiling. I'll not change my mind, I have no intention of it. Kyrie reached into her breast pocket and handed me. Hmm? What's this? Perhaps you could call it a declaration of my intent. Don't open it now, only open it. So that something happened to me. Something? Like what? Just a precaution. On the off chance something does happen to me, I don't want it to die in vain. Please, I want you to take it. Fine, I'll take it. That's all. As soon as this is done, I'm giving it back. Mark my words. Yes, of course. And one final thing. Stop saying meh! I'd like to keep this a secret from the others, at least for now, because it'll be harder to keep it from the Puppet Master. That's one reason. For other reasons? So. Never mind, it's not important. Stop lagging, you bitch! I can't forget something like that so easily. Yeah. Alright then, let's get started. Nice. Counting on you, Nagi. I just need to distract Monokuma. Alright, I'll try. I'll go on ahead then. You take care of things here. She left with nothing but a curt cold goodbye. As she always did. She left with a brisk determined gait, as she always did. The only thing different was a feeling of uncertainty welling up inside my chest as I watched her shrink into the distance. Now it'll be fine, it'll be fine. I mean it's Kirigiri after all. I moment to myself trying to loosen some of the tension. And then I got to work. Alright, let's rock. Monokuma, you're watching, aren't you? I'd like to talk, show yourself. Short time later. Well, if that ain't a red sight, you hardly ever call on me yourself, Nagi. By the way, Nagi, what? What were you and Kirigiri doing alone in the bath in the middle of the night? Were things getting steamy, steamy and wet, and then we moved to comply with, the, with ESRB content regulations? <laughs> Am I right? It's a secret van. That's okay, though. Unlike you, Nagi, baths don't really do much for me. I like to keep my surveillance clean and wholesome. No R ratings here. Is that why there aren't any cameras in the bath? Bingo! I'm betting the real reason you didn't put them in was because the steam would fog the lenses. That's my bingo. Whatever. What do you mean? What do you want? What do you bring me all the way out here for? Um, well, there's something I'd like to know. Whether I'm a boy bear or a girl bear? Bears don't have genders. Actually, they do. Seriously? Then what does that make me? What am I? No, I'll just get depressed if I think about it too hard. What was it you wanted to ask, Nagy? Uh, well, what you said earlier about someone stealing a treasure. What exactly did you have stolen? Um, I hope I'm misinterpreting. You didn't call me all the way out here just to ask me that. I'm shocked. 100, 100 megavolts shocked. Don't you have anything more important to ask, like high harvest honey or what I'm like in heat? Unbelievable. Are all pubescent boys as pitifully boring as you? Fine. I'll tell you what's so this trip wasn't a total waste. A key and a blankety blankety blank. There. Happy? A blankety blankety blank? Use your head, it means I'm not telling. Fuck off, Kaspersky. I'd like to know what's in that head of yours that makes that made you think calling me for this was a good idea. Sorry, I'm concentrating on Kaspersky more than this. Next time you waste my time with something so stupid, I'll cut it open and find out for myself. With that, Monokuma vanished. You. That should be sufficient enough of a distraction. All that's left is for me to, to leave in Kirigiri and wait for her to return safely. There's nothing to worry about, it's Kirigiri, right? I returned to my room and fell asleep right away, trying to escape from my lingering uncertainty. Monokuma Theta, Act 16. Monokuma Theta, Advert Edition. This game is brought to you by Spike Company Limited. Oh. <laughs> okay. Oh, shit, what's this? What the hell? 
What is this? Oh, I've seen this. It's a different game by... Spike. It has no sound. Which reminds me, I have to go back through and put a link in part 124. What's this game called in English? Because I think... Ugh. Come on. Shinobido 2. Not available to anyone who speaks English. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. That's interesting, isn't it? Monokuma Theta, Act 16. This is the era, era of Ninja, Samurai, or a thing of the past. By the way, why didn't I get an offer? I'll buy it anyway, though. I'll buy two copies. Why would anyone buy two copies of a video game? Unless they wanted to play Dead Island with someone. And the other person wasn't willing to buy it themselves. Good morning, you guys. It is now 7 a.m. Rise and shine. Let's make today the best day it can be. Got a lot, a lot. My arms and legs feel heavy. Is it because I was up so late last night? In any case, I've got to get to the cafeteria. But before we do that, I'm going to stop recording. So, if you want to see that. So for the next episode on the top right, previous is on the top left. So until next time folks. I don't know why I said it with a lisp there. I don't have a lisp. I don't think I have a lisp. I might have a lisp, but I don't notice if, if I do and no one else has pointed it out to me. Now I've got myself suspicious as to whether I've got a lisp or not. Anywho. Until next time. See ya.